To the person who spent $400 on corn bag using my affiliate code, thank you. And to everybody who uses this affiliate code, thank you. I've made around $130 in total uh, in the last few months off of this, but I don't really care about the money as much as it's just really cool that people are finding this awesome product. Wild that the small YouTube channel is like producing this, I guess. I used to struggle with separating my creative wants with what the client wants. What I mean by that is sometimes when I enter into a room that they have picked out for an interview and they want it shot a certain way, I may not agree with it. And used to, I would try to change it, but now I give my feedback and if they still wanna move forward with what they're hiring me to do, that's what I do. So my question for you in this video, are you able to separate your creative wants with what your client needs? So yesterday during the shoot, I ended up getting a call for a shoot today. They needed somebody quickly, their videographer dropped out. It's a promo for a golf cart company, releasing a new golf cart. So this one actually should be pretty fun. This is one of those moments where I talk about being an asset on set. I hired my buddy S here and the guy was struggling to get the golf carts off the truck. He walked over there and provided him some assistance and it made the whole process a lot smoother. It's little things like that that'll keep you getting hired because instead of standing around with your hands in your pocket, you're getting things done and you're making it better for everybody. Yeah, shoot starts at nine. Can you be here at 845? <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, cool. It just covers the little black thing. All right, we're still rolling, so yeah. This is one of those situations I was talking about. I would have loved to have been able to find a way to cut the reflections on the windshield. But for the sake of time, we had to move pretty quick with this. And honestly, the diffusion from the cloudy day and everything, I think this came out great for just literally setting up a camera and hitting record. Perfect. Wrapped on that. All right, cool. A lot of times learning how to be the answer to the problem on set is what will get you hired back. We had two carts. We were an hour behind on the things that we needed to do. So the photographer took one cart and a couple of the models. Me and S took another cart and we just split the workload. So he could do his thing without us being in the way and we could do our thing without him being in the way. And I think it worked out great. So here we were using the diffuser panel because the steering wheel was kind of just blowing up. Uh, the diffuser panel did help cut that light down a little bit and kind of expose properly. But we also taped up some black fabric that I got from Hobby Lobby on the other side to just kind of kill the reflection that was hitting the screen. But again, we didn't have the luxury of time to make everything perfect. But for the most part, I think the footage we got was great. <laughs> This whole shoot from the jump, you kind of had to be on your toes. This house that we're using actually was just a vacant house that was up for sale. And the owner of the house actually drove by at some point to kind of see what we were doing. I guess somebody had called him. And it's one of those situations I walked up, just kind of told him what we were doing, showed him some of the footage. And the only regret I have of that is not giving him my information to see if maybe he was interested and in somebody maybe filming this house or taking photos or something. But other than that, being able to deescalate the situation, not that he was angry, but he was definitely curious as to what we were doing and why we were on his property. Property. And it definitely could have been a worse situation, but knowing how to talk to people and just be respectful is very key to getting what you need sometimes. This is one of those hindsight 2020 things. Even though we were only on the back of the truck for maybe about 10 minutes, not having any kind of safety harness was pretty stupid, especially for the fact that we left the neighborhood and went out onto the main road. Could have went terribly wrong, so do not try that at home. Got this really cool message this morning from a guy on Instagram out in California who's been watching my vlogs, I guess. It's really cool to see that people are finding value in these videos. Sometimes it doesn't feel like I'm offering anything. I love seeing that. I love connecting with people. So so reach out to me on Instagram if you wanna chat. And if you're in the DFW area, let's grab coffee. Yeah, so we'd get out there uh, probably like 30, 40 minutes early and we could film whatever, if you wanted more film before that. Cause you essentially will have us for four hours. So the way I basically envision it is, yeah, the two of us on a gimbal, we'd be catching you guys on stage, you know, people singing and dancing. All right, I appreciate your time. Yeah, appreciate you too. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Definitely don't feel like that was my smoothest phone call. I've also reached out to Cordbag to see if they'd want to do a small giveaway at the filmmaker meetup that I am trying to get together. Again, more information should be coming in a couple weeks. It'll be in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm hoping in the next couple weeks. It'll probably be in the morning during the weekday. As of right now, that seems to be where everybody's kind of pushing. So hopefully it'll work out. I'm gonna try and give as much notice as I possibly can. I would love to have people come out. And who knows, you might find your new best friend or your ex-client there.